What is going on everybody? Welcome back to The Common Coder. My name is Josh and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to fix broken images inside of GitHub Pages. So there's a variety of reasons why your images might be broken when you deploy your site to GitHub Pages and in this video we're going to be breaking down the most common reasons and how to fix them. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so before we get started, there are a couple prerequisites in order to follow along with this video. The first one is that you'll need to have a basic understanding of GitHub Pages, and I'm assuming that's why you're here. I'm assuming you have a site that's up on GitHub Pages, it works locally on your machine, but for whatever reason, when you deploy it to GitHub Pages, the images don't work. So you just need to be familiar with how to make changes, push those changes up to GitHub, and then redeploy your site. Usually what will happen automatically if you're using the correct branch, but it's good to know how to use the tools if you need to redeploy your site manually. And that's what we're going to be doing throughout this video. Now, in order to do that, you'll also need to have a basic understanding of Git and GitHub and specifically around things like commits, branches, uh, things like that. So I'm going to be using different branches to demonstrate the different reasons why your images might not be loading correctly. So you don't need to be an expert in any of this, but it is going to help uh, if you're following along. Now I'll be using Visual Studio Code exclusively throughout this video, so it will help to have some familiarity with that, but you should be able to follow along using the editor of your choice and using whatever Git and GitHub tooling that you're most comfortable with. Now, if you do want to follow along with what I'm doing, you could fork the repository that I am working with, and you can get that at the link shown down in the bottom right hand corner, but I'll also provide a link down in the description below. Now, if you do need help with anything listed here, I do have videos on every single one of these topics, which I'll also link down in the description. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the common reasons why your images might be broken on GitHub Pages. All right, so the first reason your images might be broken in GitHub Pages is related to branch issues. And so this could be anything from images missing from whatever the deployed branch is. Uh, it could be related to a commit that's just missing from that branch, or it could just be that the wrong branch is deployed. So you know, if you're just getting used to GitHub pages and you're not super familiar with how to work with branches, this can be a little bit confusing. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple different things you can check to see if this might be your issue. So first, let's go ahead and take a look at our deployed site. We can see that I have three images here that are broken. And what we're going to do is go ahead and look to see where it's trying to load these images from. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the dev tools and click over to the network tab and then go ahead and hit refresh. And you can see that we have 404 errors because GitHub pages is unable to find these images which ultimately is the reason why they're broken. So if we go ahead and click on one of these images and then make sure we're on the headers tab, we can see that it's trying to load these images from the commoncoder.github.io slash GitHub pages broken images slash images. So they're under an images folder slash black white logo dot PNG. So if we go over to GitHub, we can see here is my repository and we can go ahead and uh, check our GitHub pages settings to see which branch is being deployed. So if I go ahead and click on settings over here on the left sidebar, go ahead and click on pages. And we can see that our current configuration is to build and deploy from a branch. And specifically we're deploying from this no image files branch at the root. So what we want to do is go ahead and check this code to make sure our images are actually there. So if we go over to the code tab and then switch from our main branch over to the no image files branch, we can see in this specific branch, here are our files, but notice that we don't have an image folder. All right, so that is our first clue. So the image folder in this case is actually missing. But why then when I go to my local and type in PM start, my images are here, right? So if I pushed up this branch and deployed from this branch, why are my images missing? So there could be a couple reasons for that. So number one, you want to make sure that your images are actually in your GitHub repository. And what do I mean by that? Basically, make sure your image exists and it's not grayed out and it's not part of your Git ignore folder. So if for whatever reason, that image folder is inside of git ignore those images aren't going to be uh, committed to your repository and pushed up to github when you do a git push so that's the first thing to check just make sure your image folder is part of the repository now visual studio code is one of the reasons why i like using it is it gives us a lot of visual cues uh, when working with git and github and we can see in this case uh, the folder is green here and i have a little three on my source control panel and what that means is i've added these image files but i actually haven't committed these to my repository yet so if i'm working with files and i don't commit any of these changes specifically with the images they're not going to get deployed to github pages and so that is my issue here i didn't commit the images to the repository and then i didn't push that commit with the images up to github so let's go ahead and do that now i'm going to go ahead and just stage these changes add a message that says add images 
and then go ahead and commit my changes. Just committing the changes doesn't mean that change is gonna be up on GitHub. So in order to get this to work, I need to push that change. So let me go ahead and relaunch my terminal again. And I'll go ahead and push this up using git push. And so now I've pushed that commit with the missing images. And if I go back to GitHub and let's go back to settings, and then back to our pages configuration. And actually we're not gonna see anything here yet until the deployment is finished. What we actually wanna do is go over to actions and double check to make sure that the deployment is kicked off. So since I'm deploying from the no image files branch, whenever I push a new commit to that branch, it will redeploy the site for me. So we can see that there is a deployment in process here. And as soon as this is done, we should be able to refresh our page on GitHub and then see our images. All right, so we got the green check mark. We're gonna go back to settings, go ahead and click on our pages tab. And we can see that my site was last deployed one minute ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and click to visit the site. And there we go. So now we can see our images are showing up inside of our site. And we can go ahead and take a look at the code in the repository for our no image files branch and we can see there is our images folder with the images inside. All right, the second most common reason why your images might be broken on GitHub pages is related to root relative file paths. And so this one's actually really common, especially if you're using a project site on GitHub pages. So for every repository, you get a project site and then GitHub also gives you one user level site, which is at the root of your GitHub pages URL. So your user site would be something like username.github.io. And then for each repository, you get a project project site, which gets stuck in a subfolder with the repository name. So it'd be username.github.io slash project name. And so this is where a lot of issues come up because what will happen is when you're developing locally, you'll put a slash in front of all your images. And this actually represents the root. And so when you're developing locally, the root is localhost and you're not developing from a subfolder. And when it gets deployed to GitHub pages, all of a sudden now all of your assets and resources are under a subfolder. And so the server will look for images underneath the root not the subfolder. And so what you need to do in this case is change these to file relative paths. So that way the image is loaded relative to the file that you're working with. And so you can see these look very similar. One's a slash and one's a dot slash. So just remember slash means root. So at the root of the domain, dot slash means relative to the file that I'm on. You can also just omit the dot slash completely. That would work pretty much the same here, but out of habit, I tend to use dot slash. All right, so let's go ahead and see what this looks like. So you can see here I am on localhost again. Here is my site running on my local machine. And if I go into Visual Studio Code and we take a look at the HTML, you can see that we're loading these images from slash images slash and then whatever the image name is, right? And so all of the images are in my images folder and everything is working normally, even with the slash because the slash is root relative. And so like I mentioned before, since I'm on local host, the root is local host. So it's going to be my local host port 8080. This is the root of my location. And then all the images are in slash images slash whatever the file name is. And we can see that if we open up the dev tools again, go ahead and refresh, click on the image, look at the header, and you can see that it's loading from local host port 8080 slash images slash black white logo. So this doesn't work when you deploy to GitHub pages because when it deploys to the subfolder, it's going to be looking at the root. And so the root in my GitHub pages case, the root is going to be the common coder.github.io. And the root would basically mean that, okay, I'm going to look in the root slash images. So if I go ahead and refresh this here, we can see that's exactly what's happening. So here's my 404 errors. Notice my images aren't loading. And notice that the request URL is looking for the images at the common coder.github.io slash images slash black white logo PNG. But my site isn't at the root here. My site's actually deployed under my project name, which is GitHub pages broken images. So it should be GitHub pages broken images slash images slash file name. So to fix that, all we have to do is go ahead and go into Visual Studio Code and change these root relative image paths to file relative image paths. And so basically we just add a dot in front of each one of these and we're saying, okay, from my location, go ahead and look in the images folder at the same level and then for the file name. Now I could also omit the dot slash and it would work exactly the same, but just to kind of keep all my images uh, using the same convention for anything that's in my current level, I like to do dot slash. Uh, and then obviously if you're gonna go back a level, you'd be dot dot slash. And then if you're going back multiple levels, you would have a bunch of dot dot slashes. So now we're saying from where I'm at, go ahead and look inside of the images folder at this level and then for whatever file. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that change. I'm going to go ahead and stage that change and say fix root relative paths. I'm gonna go ahead and commit that change and then go ahead and push that change up with the command line. 
And so now if we go back to GitHub Pages, let's go ahead and click into the Actions tab just to make sure, all right, my Pages build and deployment kicked off. It is deploying from my root relative file paths branch. And once this is done, we can go ahead and check it out and make sure our images are loading. All right, so once my site is deployed, I've got my green check mark. I'm gonna go back into Settings, go ahead and click on my Pages. And you can see that was last deployed one minute ago. We did deploy from the root relative file paths. And so if I go ahead and visit the site now, sometimes because of of the caching in GitHub Pages, this might not show up right away. So you can try just a regular refresh. If that doesn't work, you can always uh, open up the dev tools and then right click refresh and then click empty cache and hard reload. But we can see our images are showing up. And now if we go ahead and look at the network tab and refresh, we can see that these images are in fact loading from the correct spot now. So we can see that they're looking for them at commoncoder.github.io slash GitHub Pages broken images slash images slash black white logo. All right, so the next reason why your images might be broken in GitHub Pages is related to case sensitive file names or file paths. So the server that hosts your GitHub Pages sites is very case sensitive when it comes to file names or file paths. And so you're gonna wanna make sure that the casing for your folders and file names matches exactly what's inside of your file structure. Otherwise, the file paths are not going to resolve and you'll end up with broken images. So let's go ahead and take a look at an example. So here in my deployed GitHub Pages site, you can see again, we have the three broken images. And if we go ahead and open up the dev tools, click over to our network tab, and then refresh the page, you can see that we have, you know, our images uh, trying to be loaded. If we click on the first one, we'll see that it's looking for them at commoncoder.github.io slash github pages broken images. And notice how there is a capital I in the image folder here, and then black white logo. So it can't find this same thing here. Now this one has a lowercase image folder, but our our file name is capital G and capital L in gradient logo. And then finally for the last one, you can see same location, lowercase images folder, but in this case we have a uppercase dot PNG as the extension. And so let's go ahead and jump over to the code to make sure that this casing matches what actually exists in our file structure. So if we go over to Visual Studio Code, go ahead and click on our file explorer, and you can see that our images folder is in lowercase, and all of our images are also in lowercase as well. Now, this works on my local machine, just depending on which local server that you're using. I'm using just a simple HTTP server inside of my start script here. So you can see I have this as a dev dependency, and this just launches my project in a simple HTTP server. This does not have case sensitivity when it comes to resolving file names and file paths. So when I start this, let's say npm start, notice how all my images show up, even with the mismatched casing. So here's my capital I in the images folder. There's my capital G and capital L in gradient logo and there's my capital PNG. So this server doesn't care. It will resolve the file name and file pass even if the case is mismatched. However, in GitHub Pages, that is not the case. It needs to be exactly the same. So when working with GitHub Pages, I would recommend just to lowercase everything just to you know prevent this kind of thing from happening because otherwise you know, you're gonna have to track down each and every instance that might be capitalized or uh, you know camel cased or anything like that. So just get in the habit when you're working with GitHub Pages, go ahead and lowercase all of your folder names and file file names. So let's go ahead and go into Visual Studio Code. Now everything is lowercased here. So all we have to do is go into our HTML and then make the changes accordingly. So in this case, the first image is going to be a lowercase i on the images folder. The second one is going to be a lowercase g and a lowercase l on gradient logo. And the last one is going to be a lowercase png on my last image here. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Double check all lowercase, all lowercase, double check these, all lowercase. That looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill my dev server, go into my source control panel, and go ahead and just add a message for my commit. It says fix casing, and then go ahead and commit that change. Go ahead and push this up to GitHub. And then if we jump back over to the repository, let's go ahead and click on actions, make sure our deployment is kicked off, which it is. Sometimes this might take a minute, so just go ahead and refresh here after you've pushed your commit. Uh, but eventually you should see this and it should have a yellow dot, which will eventually start spinning. You now see that it's in progress and this usually takes about a minute. All right, and so once that deployment is done, we can go ahead and again, click on settings, 
Go ahead and click on pages in the left sidebar. And then we can see that the site was last deployed two minutes ago. You can go ahead and click on visit site. Now, again, if you don't see the changes right away, go ahead and just try refreshing the page. Typically that'll work. Um, but like I said, you can always open up the dev tools, then right click and then click empty cache and hard reload. But we can see that our images are loading and we can go ahead and click into the network tab and click refresh. And we can see if we go ahead and click on these images, click on the header and we can see the URL now since we've corrected all the casing. So now everything is in lowercase, the images are showing up correctly. All right, and that brings us to the last reason why your images might not be loading inside of GitHub pages. So if we've already checked to make sure our images are in our deployed branch, we've checked all of our casing, we've checked all of our root and relative file paths and images still aren't loading, the chances are you might have an underscore inside of one of your folder names. So GitHub pages was originally designed to host sites created by Jekyll. Jekyll is a static site generator that's commonly used to generate websites and blogs. And rather than being connected to a database and different things like that. Uh, you host all of the content and then you run it through a build that produces a static site for you. And that static site can be deployed. And a common place to deploy that is a host like GitHub Pages. Now inside of Jekyll, underscores have a specific meaning when they're inside folder names and GitHub Pages knows this. And so if you have images inside of one of these folders with an underscore, it's not going to work by default. So let's go ahead and see an example and then I'll show you how to fix this. All right, so we have our deployed site here. You can see our images are are not loading. So if we go ahead and open up the dev tools, make sure we are on the network tab and then click refresh. We can see that we are in fact getting 404 errors. Go ahead and click on each one of these images. We can see that it's trying to load this image from the commoncoder.github.io slash GitHub pages broken images slash underscore images underscore slash black white logo. Okay, so file path looks good. Uh, we have an images folder here with the underscores and black and white logo. All of this is lowercase. And so let's go ahead and take a look at our code and we can see that, yep, we do have an images folder that is underscore images underscore. You know, our casing looks good on all of our images. So what's the deal? Like, why isn't this working? So like I mentioned, underscores have a specific meaning in Jekyll and GitHub pages checks for this by default and won't actually uh, resolve those paths if you're using folders with an underscore. And so there's two ways that we can fix this. Number one, we can just remove the underscores from our folder. Um, however, then we're going to have to go and update all of our file paths as well. So this might be a good option. But if you do want to keep the underscores, so some people like to do this for um, naming conventions, things like that. So, you know, if you have an underscore in front of a folder name, if you're sorting your files and folders by name, for example, then those underscores will either show up at the top or the bottom. So if you don't want to go through the hassle of renaming all of your folders and fixing all of your file paths, there's actually a very easy way to fix this. And what we can do is add a special file that will let GitHub know that this is not a Jekyll site and to go ahead and ignore or anything that's related to those underscores in those folder names. And so this special file needs to be at the root of your project. So it can't be inside of any of the folders. It has to be at the root level. And so we'll go ahead and create a new file. And this file is called dot no Jekyll and Jekyll is spelled J-E-K-Y-L-L. -L. All right, and this special file, when we push this up to GitHub, GitHub's gonna see this file and it's gonna say, okay, I don't need to enforce any special rules related to folders with underscores. This site is not a Jekyll site, so we'll just treat those as regular folders. So once I've added the file, I'm gonna go ahead and stage my change. And I'll just say, add no Jekyll. And I'll go ahead and commit that change. Go ahead and push that change up to GitHub. And then if I go back to GitHub and then click on my actions and see my pages build deployment is kicked off. And so once this is finished, we can go ahead and check it out to see if it worked. All right, and we can see that deployment is now done. So if we go back into our settings, go ahead and click on pages over here in the sidebar. And we can see that this was deployed a few minutes ago. So if I go ahead and click visit site, now we can see that my images are loading. And if I go ahead and open up the dev tools, make sure that I'm on the network tab and then go ahead and click refresh. And if I click on any one of the images, we can now see that since I added that no Jekyll file, our images are being loaded from the underscore images underscore folder. So now any folder with uh, underscores on it, GitHub pages will ignore that and just treat that like any other folder. So like I said, that's the easiest way to do it. You can always remove those underscores if you want to, but then you're gonna have to change any references to things that are inside of those folders as 
as well. So the easiest way to do this, if you want to keep the underscores in your folder names is to add that no Jekyll file. All right, well, that is going to go ahead and do it for this video on how to resolve broken images inside of GitHub pages. If you like this video and found this information valuable, please leave me a like down below. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, be sure to leave those down in the comments below. And until next time, be sure to stay curious, never stop learning, and I will see you all in the next video.